Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how to get the Raider Power Armor. You can see I'm in just an exoskeleton right now. There is no actual, um, any power armor on. This is just kind of the exosuit. Uh, and so I'm going to be showing you how to get this. I will actually be showing some combat in this. I really haven't shown any in this, in the whole time that I've been playing. Um, and I totally messed that up. Hold on. Okay, we'll go about it this way. But what you want to pay attention here off the bat, um, Boomer is the one here that uh, has the power armor. But what you got to pay attention to is right off the bat, he does have one mini nuke that he's going to fire. So just make sure you don't get hit by that. And you should be fine. Uh, but he's going to come after you because now he's more of melee and he throws grenades like a, like a douchebag. But he's pretty easy to take down. Um, he doesn't have too much health, uh, and you can just do this and back away from him because he can only punch you. <laughs> so it's actually a pretty easy fight as long as you avoid that mini nuke. But there he goes down. And on him, you're going to get a uh, fragmentation grenade, the fat man that he fired, the one mini nuke he had. Uh, you're going to get some pocketed fiberglass combat armor right arm. Uh, you're going to get uh, a brace shadow left leather left arm but all of this stuff is right here that you're going to want not the raider leathers you're going to want this i've tested this three times seeing it if you could get the full armor from him and i couldn't this is what i got every time uh power uh raider power two helmet and a raider power two right arm and a regular raider power left arm so i don't believe you can get all the power armor from him if someone wants to correct me that would be great uh, and then i will uh if someone tells me i'll bring a video showing that is there still a guy? There's still a guy alive over there. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop out of this to show you guys. So let's go ahead and throw the armor on right now. Uh, it's not really the coolest armor in the game, uh, but it is something different. And it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the defense is not the greatest on it, but if you're looking a little bit more of a different route, you want to go with your power armor, not the traditional route. Uh, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, this does not look like your traditional power armor. Definitely looks a lot different. Uh, doesn't give you the same uh, defensive benefits as um, as most power armors do. You can probably almost find better armor not in a power armor than this, but it is a power armor, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys. It's something I want, uh, adding it to the collection. I actually just stumbled upon this. Um, I'll show you guys exactly where it is now. Um, it is right here, uh, Outpost uh, Zamanja. So if you come right here, if you come to Tenpenny's Bluff, if you have that unlocked, or right here is Satellite Station Olivia, which was the, vi the thing that you saw in the background, and I said I was going to go check it out. Um, in the Hot Flame video, or the Hot Rod Flames video, here's the robotics disposal, so it's about even um, uh, laterally to the right, uh, so you can head that way to get it there, or you can go off of that, or Tempany's Bluff, also right here, is General Atomics Gallery, you can see that there, or Radio Tower there, or Recon Bunker Theta, which I really want to get that open. It's got to have something good in it, um, so I'll be trying to figure out how to get into that, uh, but just to let you guys know. But uh, Outpost Zamanja is what it's called here. I almost thought you'd be able to make a settlement here. Maybe you can, um, because it looks kind of like you'd be able to make a settlement here. There's kind of already some pre-set up stuff for like a settlement with power and a cooking station and there's some water and a generator. Uh, but it doesn't look like you can make this into a settlement. Uh, but guys, that is how you get yourself the Raider Power Armor. Here's one final look at it. Um, not too not too great, but it's kind of got like a, a deep sea diver looking helmet. Um, kind of an old fashioned um, diving helmet. And then the, the uh, shoulder pads kind of look like um, prison football pads, kind of, and then, uh, it, it's pretty cool armor, um, I won't be wearing it, I don't wear really any power armor, but, uh, it'll be a cool look in the collection, hopefully, maybe there is a chest piece and some leg pieces for it, and so you can add that to it, if not, I would just suggest throwing the best power armor available onto it that you have, because it's not the greatest power armor, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed, uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace out!